After surrendering their first loss of the season last week against IC Catholic, the Bennett Red Wings are on the road facing another undefeated team, the Montini Catholic Broncos. This is the first meeting between these schools since 2009, a game the Broncos won 43-6. On the first drive of the game, QB Gaetano Carbonara rolls to his right and throws it right into the hands of Red Wing Daniel Flores. The early turnover gives the Red Wings great field position less than a minute into the game. After advancing the ball inside the 10-yard line, Flores is back on the field for a field goal attempt. The snap is good and Flores sends it through the uprights for the first score of the game. 3 to nothing, Bennett, three minutes into play. On the next Broncos drive, they're faced with a third and long. Carbonara drops back as Declan Walsh gets around the edge and brings him down for the sack. The Red Wings defense keeps Montini scoreless through one quarter. Now into the second quarter, Montini has possession with just under 30 seconds to go in the half. Carbonara throws one deep downfield where Rocky Rosanova is waiting for the interception. He's able to return the ball into Bronco territory, handing the ball over to the Bennett offense with 15 seconds on the clock in the first half. In search of some last second points before halftime, Brian Kubaki Jr. looks to his left and launches a deep jump ball down the sideline to Rosanova. It's deflected out of the hands of Rosanova and right into the breadbasket for Pat Patello. He's the first player to cross the goal line thanks to a 45-yard heave from Kubaki Jr. It's 10 to nothing Bennett going into halftime. Now with a little over two minutes to go in the third, Santino Florio catches a screen pass, eludes a trio of Red Wing defenders, and then speeds down the sideline with one man to beat. He crosses the 10 before he is tripped up and downs at the one yard line. He fires up the home crowd and sets up an easy scoring opportunity. After a couple of stops, Montini brings in Nick Erian to take the third down snap. He takes the ball and follows a big push up front, falling into a dog pile in the end zone. After clearing away players, the referees eventually signal the touchdown. With the extra point, Montini is now trailing 10-7 with less than a minute left in the third. Following a Bennett three and out, the Broncos are in possession again. Carbonara fakes to the running back, looks downfield, and he's got Florio wide open, and he catches it for the big touchdown. After scoring two TDs in less than two minutes of game time, Montini is now on top 14-10, just a minute into the fourth. Now with six minutes left in the game, the Red Wings have entered Bronco territory. Kubaki Jr. looks to his right and connects with Luke Wilds. He gains some yards after the catch and takes a hard hit, but he gives Bennett a first down inside the 10-yard line. On the very next play, Kubaki Jr. fakes the handoff and is under pressure immediately. He avoids a couple defenders, but Jackson Lane is able to jar the football loose and a fellow Bronco recovers it. The costly turnover gives Montini possession with five minutes left to play. After forcing a punt, the Red Wings have a fourth and long scenario with the ball back near midfield. Kubaki Jr. drops back with an empty backfield and he loads up and fires it, but it's deflected by a Broncos defender and falls to the turf. Montini regains possession with a little over two minutes to go in the game. Now with 30 seconds left in the game, Montini has a fourth and 15 at Bennett's 36 yard line. They run play action again and Carbonara once more finds Florio downfield for a second TD of the game and it puts the nail in the coffin. Montini win 21-10, hanging on to improve to 4-0 on the season. I was just, I was mad that the offense wasn't like, keep going, keep, I wasn't applying like what they had to do. The defense played amazing and we just had to do our job and we, we did. We knew we could do it, it was just about like applying what you learn in practice and keep on doing it. But it was just a game time, it was a game time decision.